Hey everyone, so today is going to be a little bit different. Okay, a lot of it different. I'm not reviewing a book. What? Oh my god, Maddie, your like channel's called like Miss Reads a lot. Like, why aren't you doing that? Okay. I don't know. I felt like doing a video on meditation because well, okay, it's a big part of my life and it really, really helped me. And also, learning how to do it is so hard. And I wish someone had told me, like, these things when I first started out because I was like, I'm doing this wrong. Like, it's not working. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so, no. Yeah. Um, a quick little thing about meditation. I've or about me in meditation, I guess. So I've been doing it for about four years now. So yeah, I started when I was about 15 to help um, myself. I, it helped me sleep. Actually, sorry. Um, we used to do it in swimming and in chorus class um, before a big concert or meet. It was just something to relax us and bond um but I never really brought it into like my home whatever until I was about 15 and then about two years ago I was diagnosed with depression OCD and anxiety and I found that meditation helps so much um it just it relaxes me, it just helps my mind stop, because it doesn't stop, like, ever. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, so when I was learning, it was so hard, and, like, you might, th you might think if you've never meditated before, like, oh, what, it's just sitting there with your eyes closed and being like, um, um, first of all, I don't say, um, mm. that's, like, a Buddhist thing, I'm not Buddhist. Um, side note, the like, om, there's a different syllable for each of the chakras, um, to align them, charge them, whatever, so that's why they say it, and it's also been too stylized in the movies, like, oh, monks, they're just going to meditate all the time like this, and they're going to say om, because what else are they going to do? <laughs> they're just sitting there, so, yeah, and that's how that came about. So, I'm going to stop talking for a little bit. Oh, not stop talking. I'm going to start stop rambling. I can English. And then I'm just going to give you my 10 biggest tips for people learning how to meditate. So, number one, get in a position that's comfortable for you. Um, a lot of times you hear, like, sit straight up or lay down on your back. Well, for my whole life, I have been a stomach sleeper, and being on my back makes me feel like a fish out of water, like, about to die. I, it's not comfortable, it's not okay, Ugh, I, I can't, I, I just can't do it. So, I actually, I actually meditate on my stomach, so, because that, that's what works for me. Um, a lot of times when you're meditating, it's like, Oh, sorry. One time I had a coach who made me meditate on my back, and that did not go well. I just looked at her the whole time. I was like, hello. My eyes are closed because I'm not comfy. She was like, close your eyes. And I was like, no. Mm -hmm. Let me roll over. Okay. Um, yeah. So just get in, just get comfy. Wear comfy clothes get wrapped up in a blanket. I have a king-size blanket on my twin bed in college, like in my dorm right now. My dorm's that way. Um, yeah. It's... If I'm not properly swaddled, I will not be... I can't meditate correctly <laughs> or properly, so yeah, get comfortable. And that being said, it's okay to move around when you're meditating because the whole purpose is comfort. Like, obviously, if you're, like, a Buddhist monk, like, I don't think it's okay for them to move around, but, like, I'm not. So, 
I'm gonna move as much as I want until I'm like a-okay. Okay, sorry. So tip number two, um, use a guided meditation video. Like to start, I still use them. It's just, um, <laughs> sorry, the, the talking and the music actually distracts your conscious mind. So it just like lulls it. So then you're just like, ah, I'm relaxed. Um, that's a big thing. Like, especially, like, I use it to sleep mostly. Um, and especially when I'm, I've had a long day, I've just had a busy day where I've always been like, oh my god, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this, blah, 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 blah. It's the talking, it's just my conscious mind, your conscious mind gets more focused on that than whatever's going on in your life. So use a guided meditation video. It also helps when you're new and you don't know exactly what you're doing. So when I first started, I did not use them. I didn't start using them until this year. I didn't even know they existed until this year. Yeah, you just go on YouTube, type in guided meditation, type in guided meditation. They pop right up. There's like millions of them. Um, they just like give you instructions or they call them suggestions. <laughs> but it's basically like, how to meditate and there are different lengths different kinds sometimes they're also called sleep hip they're called like self-hypnosis or something so it's guided meditation that's all that's all it is um they have a whole bunch of different kinds they have ones for anxiety lucid dreaming past life regression if you believe in that um self-confidence depression sleep like you name it it's on there um, they're great. I use one every night. I use a different one every night. Actually, last night I used one of my favorites. I used one of my favorite ones last night. I'll link that one in the description. Um, but there's just a whole bunch, a whole bunch. I highly recommend using them. They're a great tool for meditating. If you don't like hear, if you don't like hearing people talk, if you're like, Maddie, that's really creepy. I don't want that. Listen to like relaxing music. You just be like meditation music. Um, when I am not meditating to sleep, I turn on um music that plays at circa certain frequencies, um, because that they ha they line up to different chakras in your body. Like each chakra has a different frequency. Oh, sorry for those of you who don't know what a sh what a chakra is. It, it, there are seven of them. <laughs> There's seven of them, and they're all along, they're all, like, power points of your body. They're, like, the set, center. So, like, you can see this one. Here's the third eye chakra, like, like, rest, like right about here. Um, you can feel it. It's, like, here's, like, your brow bone, and then it, like, drops, and that's where your third eye goes. Your heart chakra is, like, here in the center of your chest and it's just power points in your body um right down the center of your spine um they like to measure on your spine but like it doesn't feel for me it doesn't feel like it's on your spine but i don't know if you don't believe in chakras and all that fine but it's just those there are certain frequencies that are just very relaxing so if you don't want to listen to someone's voice just Turn on some relaxing music or like spa music or thunderstorms, white noise. I don't like thunder. Thunder scares me a little bit. So like, mm. but you know, like waves, rushing waves or something. Turn on one of those and it helps. It just keep, it's just something to keep your conscious mind distracted from thinking. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, tip number three. There we go. <laughs> tip number three is don't breathe too deeply. Um... I actually, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I have to breathe really deeply so I can relax. And then I actually find myself getting out of breath because I'm breathing too deeply and that's not relaxing at all. So take, um, a lot of times in like the guided meditation videos, it'd be like, take a, take a deep relaxing breath, hold it at the top and let it go. Yeah, you should really only do like three of these MX. Like as deep as you can, inhale, exhale, and that's just to release tension. It's part of like a clench up all of your muscles and like let it go and you suddenly feel a lot more relaxed that's what it is but during 
your meditation process and getting into it, don't be like, <gasps> like the whole time. That was an exaggeration. I'm so sorry you had to witness that, but sorry people on the floor if you can hear them. I don't know. Um, yeah, so just breathe at your pace. Um, what you do want to avoid, though, is shallow. Like, don't breathe too deep, but don't breathe really shallow. So, like, <laughs> that's okay. Um, one of the yoga teachers here on campus focuses on a three-part breath. Um, so, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I see what they mean. Um, being a musician, um, we teach breathing a little bit differently. Um, but basically, a three-part breath is, like, fill. I'm going to set up a little bit so you can see it a little better. Um, so, like, fill, like, your stomach with air first. And then once that gets full, open up into your chest. And then when that's full, like, try to move your collarbones. And try it. You can feel it. You can feel it. <laughs> um, we teach something similar in music. Um, but it's ba it's a little bit more simple. It's just like put your hands on your stomach, your sides, or your back. I like my sides and my back, so I know I'm taking a deep breath. And you want to breathe from there and not your shoulders. You don't know. It's, it's bad. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Um, it's not natural. Somehow we learn how to breathe like that um, along our life, and then it's not. No, it's not natural. When you're a baby, you don't breathe like that. You breathe. I'm just moving my arms so you can see it, but she, my shoulders didn't. So yeah, um, just a pace that's natural for you, but make sure they're not shallow, like chest breaths either. Like, you don't want any of that. Just want nice, full breaths that don't make you out of breath. Okay. Um, what am I on for? Number four, be alone. Um, unless you're really good at this. Um, I'm in the lounge because my dorm is gross and this is better lighting. But, um, yeah. So, be alone. Or at least on a long bus trip where you're not going to get bothered for a while. Well, um, and that's just be that's just so you don't get distracted. Um, it's very easy to get distracted when you're meditating, which also leads me to my fifth point, um, the tip. Um, it is okay if your mind wanders. Um, it's fine. It's gonna happen. Um, I heard somewhere that our attention span is only as much as half of our age in minutes. So like, I'm 19. Half of 19 is nine and a half. I only have nine, my focus, I can only focus on something for nine and a half minutes. So, yeah, your mind is bound to wander, especially if you're just laying there like, oh, I'm breathing nicely, I'm relaxing, and all of a sudden you're like, I, want, I wonder what Avengers Infinity Wars is like. Like, you know, it happens, it's okay. Um, those, those two kind of go together. So being alone to limit your distractions, but it's also okay to get a little bit distracted because it's it's natural. Like and that's another thing about meditation. It's natural. I mean, breathing is natural. Trying to release tension is natural. It it's doing something to help your body. So those are okay. Um, number six. Be selfish and be okay with being selfish. Um, meditation is for you. You are not, like, you're never going to be like, my meditation is going to save the world. Like, that is not a thing. Meditation is to help you unwind and relax. And maybe it'll help people around you, but it'll help people around you because you're not going to be as mean anymore. Like, you're not going to bump into someone and blame them and, like, scream at them or you're not going to stub your toe and then, like, nuke the planet, like, you know? So meditation is a selfish thing. And as me, I'm a people pleaser. Like, it's it's so bad. Um, and for a while, I felt, for a little bit, I felt guilty about meditating. Like, I was like, 
oh no, I should be doing something more productive or like saving the world, I don't know. Um, so it was really hard for me to just meditate and let go. Um, and be, being, sel being selfish and being okay with that kind of applies everywhere, I think. But, and it takes a lot of practice. Um, yeah, you're not going to just be able to be like, I'm meditating, no, and I don't care what anybody else says, or if anyone knocks, or whatever. <sighs> that comes with time. I'm like that now. Um, sometimes I'll be like, uh, I'm going to meditate, you need to stop talking. And it sounds awful, but like the people who are close to me are just like, okay, get it, mm, mm, okay. So, yeah, be okay with being selfish. It takes time. It's okay. Um, tip number seven, start short. The atten Back to the attention span thing. Mm. <laughs> Sit here and breathe right now while you're watching this video. I'll wait. Yeah, see. Um... If I had sat there for much longer, you'd been like, hmm. And you're probably like that now because I'm just sitting here and talking. And it's been well over my attention span. So, yeah. So, start short. And it's all, and then work up longer. Um, do a five-minute meditation. And just sit for five minutes and breathe. And your mind's allowed to wander and it takes practice meditation takes practice and you would never um go into a figure skating competition like expecting to do like a tr three triple axles in a row without learning how to jump and stand on one f jump and land on one foot first like you ha it's the same as anything you just have to start slow start at the beginning and then work up to harder things so yeah uh tip number yeah eight eight <laughs> don't worry about what you look like yeah this is a gen this genuinely happened to me i when i first started i was 15 okay not first started but when i first started bringing it into my life permanently don't worry about what you look like. I was like, I look so stupid right now. If my parents walk in and like kiss me good night, they're gonna, what are you doing? Like, stop that. Yeah. It's fine. You don't need to please anyone. Just yourself. And we all know how comfy those sweats are. Like, mm. put on your sweats, put on your ugly pajama pants that you've had since middle school. And just sit, relax in your comfy at home clothes. It's okay. Don't worry about whatever. All right. Tip number nine, use mental imagery or sounds to start. But Maddie, you just said, like, don't picture, or like, don't let your mind wander, or blah, 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 or meditation is supposed to, like, you're not supposed to think about things when you meditate. Yeah. But a lot of times, if I'm not using a guided meditation and I'm just by myself, um, when I picture my inhales as um, a, the tide coming in and out at a beach, so like my inhale is the water like rushing up the beach and then my exhale is it pulling back, that's what I see and I hear. Um, and after a while, it goes away. Um, it just lull. That's an, the imagery and the mental sound. That's just a way to lull your self-conscious mind like, get it to shut up and I have issues with that that's why I'm on medication yeah <laughs> anyway and so that's just it's helpful and it's also helpful when you're beginning because meditation is so hard to do like you're doing you're doing nothing so it's hard to just transition into seeing like closing your eyes and just listening to yourself breathe and not seeing anything, just being like, oh, what, I wonder what I'm going to have for dinner, blah, 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 Yeah, it's easy to start doing that, so the imagery and the sounds help 
keep you a, li a lot more focused. That being said, your mind still wanders, but it just helps center your mind a lot more. All right, number 10, the last one. Stay with it. That goes for anything, you're tr like any discipline you're trying to learn. Whether it's music, sports, writing. One of my biggest, like my favorite tips for writing, I think, I don't know who it was, but I heard it from Stephen King, but I've heard it in so many places. It's like, write every day. You don't even have to write good things every day. Just write every day, and you will get better, and your books will get done. Like, yeah. So, that's the thing. Like, just stay with it. it it's not always going to be easy. I still have bad meditation days where it's just like, I can't focus. I can't focus. But I go in the next day, I'm just like, okay, this is going to be a good day. We're going to relax and it's going to be awesome. So staying with it is really important. There's no way that you're going to get better if you don't stay with it. Um, if you start out really bad, then you're like, I'm not going to do this anymore until I'm good. It's not going to work. Like, it's the same thing with sports. I'm going to use a hockey analogy because I played hockey for too many years. <laughs> um, if you're trying to learn a slap shot, this is a true, it's kind of what happened to me. If you're trying to learn a slap shot and your first couple were really bad and you're like, that's it, I'm not doing these anymore, you're going to be a 16 year old who like struggles with their slap shot. That's what's going to happen. Same thing goes with meditation. Yes, I struggled with my slap shot at 16 because mm, I didn't use it. I used a wrist shot and I could snipe and I could do one-timers and garbage calls. That was not important to this video, but oh, how. Uh, yeah, so you just have to stay with meditating and then you'll get better. Yeah, so those are like my 10 tips. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out, leave it in the comments, whatever. Um, if you would like more on, my, if you would like me to do another video on like tips, what it's used for, blah, 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 um, write that down in the comments too. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this 23 minute video. I really appreciate it. Okay. Have a nice day. I will see you next time.